or at the beach, remember to reapply sunscreen right after swimming or about every two hours. Pat Foran, CTV News. This weekend, thousands of motorcycle riders will hit the highway and head north for the 33rd annual Ride for Sight fundraiser. Mike Harwood is here to tell us more about it, and with him is Megan Vanderite, and she knows just how important this fundraiser is. She's been involved in it for five, six years now. Yeah. All right. So, Mike, let's start with you. Tell us a bit about what happens. Well, this is a um, festival for us uh, to thank our fundraisers that have been raising funds uh, for the last 12 months. And uh, there's motorcycle events, a show and shine, there's um, uh, sport riders, there are a lot of uh, bicycle, or bike rodeo games uh, that is being sponsored by DeWalt. Uh, lots of opportunity to, to win prizes and um, you know just have a lot of fun, meet old yeah. friends, listen to some uh, great show bands that are coming, your show ride. off your, bi your bike, <laughs> you know, and uh, to kind of take bragging rights for the next year. Right. All uh, in aim of uh, raising money for vision research through the Foundation Fighting Blindness. And where is this happening exactly? This is happening at Tudhoe Park in, in uh, Aurelia, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's, uh, it's going to be a great event. Uh, the weather, I hope, is going to cooperate with Hopefully us this a year. a warmer than today. But uh, you know what? It's a motorcycle event and riders, rain or shine. Right. That's just the way All it right. is. And Megan, you've been involved with this for a number of years, and that's because you yourself have a vision problem. Can yes. you tell us about it? I have a disease called retinitis pigmentosa. It's a genetic disease, and it um, it's like tunnel vision. It takes away the side of my vision, my peripheral vision, right. until eventually I really won't have very much. Uh, I'm legally blind. Uh, Okay. You still like We're to get out there money, on the yeah. back of the bike, right? I do. <laughs> I still like to get out there. I don't let it set me back at all. Yeah. And I love the ride for sight. It's always been a good thing for me and my family. We like to fundraise. Yeah. So everybody tries to raise as much money as they can, and then yes. that basically gives them admission to a whole weekend of activities. Yep. Yeah. My family we raised just under five thousand this wow. year. Wow. Is that yeah. a record for you? No, uh, actually, last year was ten thousand. Holy smokes! <laughs> That's terrific that you've been so involved in. This is uh, your family's bike right over here. Yes. Side. So this is your seat this right back Daddy's here. This is bike. Yeah, this is my seat. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. All right. So that, it starts this Friday. Friday morning. And we're going to direct people to a website. It's called rideforsight.com. There's lots of information there about how you can get involved. Can people still join up if they Absolutely. want? Absolutely. Whether they're coming themselves as a rider or as a virtual rider, joining up and doing using the electronic fundraising, getting all your friends, email your yeah. friends and have them sponsor you. It's a, it's a great way to, to raise money for a great cause. Okay, and, and the money goes to, is it different research projects? Yes, or? it's um, it's funding the vision research in Canada, um, you know, helping the doctors and the, and the clinicians uh, do the testing and the, the research to, to discover, you know, the, the, the cures for, for blindness. And they're right. so close on many different forms. In fact, there has been some very successful regeneration of sight in a number of patients through the efforts that, that, that uh, has been funded by the motorcyclists across Canada. Let's hope they can help somebody like Megan here. Let's yes. hope. All right, well, you can get involved. It's rideforsight.com, and there's more information, a link to it, on our website as well. Let's head back inside now to Joel at the desk. Thanks, Nancy. Coming up later this hour, some tool tips for Father's Day. Ideas for what you might want to get Dad this year, even a chance to win some. Weather's up next, though. We're going to check out outside with our live eye. We're in Conestogo today, where it's a little bit cloudy and a little bit windy. Randy will be here with for the rest of the week after the break. CTV's The Beat has...